Hey, Bob Wolf here. Um, gonna do a little maintenance on the uh, rear tire today and uh, and brakes. So I've gotta remove the rear wheel. This is a 2019 Beamer F850 GS. I'm gonna remove a 34 millimeter nut on the back, which of course uh, everybody has a tough time finding the right tool for. Um, I did find this neat trail tool. Um, this has got a, a 22 hex on the front, which is for the front tire, welded onto a uh, onto this uh, really nice, nicely done, uh, you know, really structural piece of metal, right? Steel that uh, that will hopefully do the job. Now it's short, so I'm actually going to combine it with uh, with this guy um, to uh, to get me the. The torque arm that I need to uh, to get that 100, I think it's 100 newton meter nut off of there, and then uh, bang out the axle and uh, pull the rear wheel off. So we'll demonstrate how this goes. All right, so let's uh, put this 34 on there. Grab a pair of pliers out of the trail kit. I'm try trying to do this with all my trail tools, just to make sure that. Uh, a good hygiene thing that I'm doing that I've got the right tools in my trail kit so it's on the stand and I'm making headway good <coughs> good deal <coughs> past the tough part Four millimeter nut, big fat washer. All right, uh, now we can uh, bang this thing out of there. There's nothing else holding it from the other side. Um, that uh, that goes pretty simply. Um, but these uh, the chain adjusters will need to be loosened um, in order to get everything to slide uh, to slide forward a little bit to get the chain off. This is a T45 actually, not a T40. Um, so T45 in here, I'm gonna count the number of revolutions that I get out of this uh, so that I know how to get back here. I mean, I'll test it with the chain, of course, but um, this will give me a good, good gauge anyway. So I'm gonna go out two, three, three full turns here. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Super before it winds up. No, I'm gonna have to loosen those guys further. There's four. There's five. Alright, so we're out five. So there's six. Six did the trick. All right. So with that out, I can come back here to a more of a natural position. And uh, if I remember rightly, this tire doesn't actually like to come off. The wheel doesn't like to come off so well because of the brakes on the other side. So if I remember rightly, what I have to do is as soon as the axle's out, I've got to lift this thing off of the uh, rotor. And once it's off the rotor, uh, or, or pull the wheel down off the rotor, but then rotate this thing out uh, from, the, uh, from the swing arm, which then gets it out of the way. And then when you put it back together, it's kind of got to come sliding back in as the wheel comes back up uh, all at the same time. And I think that was the trick. So uh, we'll see and um, you'll get to witness it and we'll see if I curse and have to bleep it. So big axle out, holding the tire weight, of course, with my feet. All right. So there's the axle. It is a monster. We'll get this off of the so there it is that came off 
And I don't know why this wasn't obvious the first time I did it, but it seems obvious now how to do this. So there's a there's a slot down here where my finger's pointing. This slot, it has to come out of that slot. So you can see the slot there. Right? There's a male portion there that it sits in. Um, and uh, so that's important. So I would say that the service manual probably says don't let the calipers dangle by the uh, by the weight here. Um, so I'm going to try to be good there, but uh, I'm not sure how how good I can be. So we'll get this get the tire out of the way. Maybe I can set it back on that slot in there so that it holds itself um, nicely. Yeah. So I think that will stay. There is a uh, there is this spacer here. Um, which slides into the edge of the wheel there. Um, that's the only other dangling item, I believe. Um, oh, no. On the other side, there's a similar uh, grease cap. Uh, let me rotate this around here and show that. So on the other side of the bike, there is this one here that comes off. Right? There's no, no attachment to it. It just comes off. So take those off. Set them on their respective sides so they don't get lost. This actually has a lip. The lip goes on the outside. You can see that. The lip goes on the outside of the wheel as it goes in. We'll set that down like that. So I'm rolling the wheel in here without taking this thing off of its uh, off of that big post or stand that it sits on. And I'm hoping that I can I can make clearances uh, to other to, to the other bits here, which I think it just did, which would be great. There would be a lot less finagling, and I think I did that just now. It's a tight fit, but I think it may be intended to go together uh, without having to kind of. Finagle all the finagling I've done in the past, which is uh, which would be a great thing. So now I got to pick up the wheel. Uh huh. Okay, so this may actually work. So I'm going to need to have the. So I think I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, I just moved the pads. Oh, I got them in. Mm. 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 No doubt that's a tight fit, that's for freaking sure. <clears throat> we'll say it's a German tolerances or something. Come on, get in there. Oh, I think I got past the edge anyway. I did. All right. Okay. That's good. Yeah, it's looking good. Right, I'm going to put the chain back on while I still have some play. Out the other side, anyway. If I tighten, tighten those guys up. So we were six turns out. Um, so I'm gonna bring it in like I don't know four or something, and then uh, give it a check. But uh, I'll do this kind of equally on both sides. So. I'm gonna put the I put the washer oops, put the washer on. I'm gonna put the nut on at least a at least a bit. It says 40 to 50 millimeters. 
and right now it's a lot more than that so I've got to tighten up the, I think that sixth round and then I'll see where I'm at so let's go to six so the other indicator that uh, that there is on the uh, on the chain tightening with with these chain tightening pieces here is that um, is that there are notches on this on this aluminum piece here this steel piece here there's uh you can see there's a, a one notch right there that is uh there's more of them down this way but basically if you look at that i've got the notch showing plus maybe another width of a notch um, before you're at that at that metal cutout so those guys should line up uh, left and right so here if I knock this thing this direction you can see that there's almost three notches showing and if I bring this here where sorry where this bolt is now up against right so this would be as if it were tight I'm at a notch and not quite um, another notch there so if I tighten it a little bit more right I get out to where the other one is and that's what we want that looks good so so now my adjustments my adjustments are now the same left and right whether they're correct or not is a different matter um, so I will check the chain adjustment now that I think I'm at my, my six uh, it says chain tension without load so I think that would be on the stand is without load and you want to do this you can see that the chain actually will sag more here and it will sag less maybe here on its own so you want to you want to check it where it's tightest so here's here's probably about where I'm seeing it be tightest and then uh, what I do is real simple sort of halfway in between where it picks up back here is the is where the can or where the crankshaft is, and here. So your midpoint is somewhere around here. Is basically just put a ruler here and go you know, like this, right? And I'm so at 27 and a half, and here I pull down. I'm at 24 and a half. That's uh, that's only 30. Right, and it says, I mean, maybe I make it to 35. So it says 40 to 50, and uh, and I'm not quite making it. So uh, so this is actually a little bit too tight, so I'm going to loosen up by uh, maybe half a turn, and we'll see where it goes to. So what I did is I loosened up the tightening nut there by half a turn, and um, I'm gonna come back here, see where we're at. So if I come, if I press up, I'm at 28 now. And on the downside, I'm at 23 and a half. So that'd be a 45. Maybe it's 44, something like that. It says 40 to 50. So I'm in zone. Okay, so final bit here uh, is just to tighten down the rear axle nut. And uh, that spec is 100 newton meters. And uh, it's a monster 34. Uh, 34 millimeter. And there it is.